Yep. That's what you think it is, guys. See, I went over the top again in the presentation. It's kind of funny. I would recommend checking it out. But anyways, what that over the top presentation means is that we're going to get the over the top um, effects of the what they're calling now blood and burning. So it's the blood and gore we're used to, but they combine it with burning. So you'll see some new effects. For example, here on the campaign map, they added more visceral gore. So it's not just on the battlefield. It extends the campaign map. Here they talk about how they added if an army is diseased on the battlefield, you'll see it actually vomiting up in the game. Uh, and the, the bright green vomit is a little goofy, um, but hey, uh, I'm sure it's something they'll tweak and that's easily changeable, but it's a, it's a nice additional feature. And then here we get into the fire mechanism. Uh, what you'll actually see is not only artillery pieces that do damage and burn people, but also civilians can now be burnt coming out of buildings. And the character models will actually change after they die in their burns. You'll see it comes out as a charred texture. Um, very, very gritty. Uh, and then here is their parkour DLC that they're announcing. No, just kidding. I don't know why that clip was in there. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for this. They haven't announced uh, a price point for it. I assume it's going to be like the other um, Blood and Gore DLCs because you have to pay for it. And this is because there's like a little rule uh, about um, the maturity level of a game and stuff like that and then the it'll presumably be announced next week uh next moving on is going to be the tin isle update and that includes a couple mercenary units this is talking about the celtic unit pack um which is a paid dlc but then the tin isle they're sort of taking it as a free lc it's not really that it's more of a patch um, but anyways, I wanted to address something really quick. In this video, you actually see Darren Total War, the YouTuber, who was taking on the project of, now he's in charge of promoting the Celtic Units DLC, talking about it. I think that's really cool. Hi, Darren, if you're watching this, I really appreciate your work. He's done a great job with it. And what I really, really despise is maybe some of you in the comments, perhaps, I hope not my viewers, but some people on that video, if you go ahead and check it out, are just absolutely volatile in the comments section. They are being so cruel unnecessarily to Darren Total War. He's doing his job. He's doing what he loves. And a lot of people are taking out their anger at the DLC policy on Darren. They're calling him all sorts of names. And I think that's totally unacceptable and unwarranted. Uh, if that's any of you who did that, you should be ashamed. Uh, I can't help but imagine if I were in that position, you know, I might receive some of that same heat. And I think that's despicable. You can hate the policy, but don't hate the person. Everyone you see at CA interfacing with you loves the game, loves what they do. And I think it's really unfair to attack them personally like that. Uh, I'm glad at my channel we've fostered a little bit of, you know, you know a culture of respect but so did Darren on his channel and it's really sad to see his fans turn on him like that so if you guys could go ahead and let him support and if you see anyone else trying to shout him down um, just don't stand up for that um, it's 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 cruel and then you know unwarranted moving on there's gonna be another one here that's gonna be total war battles basically they do a really a, a fast quick fire uh, question and answer uh, and it was actually pretty elucidating listening to all of these Q&A's I hadn't followed this game too much it's it's the one that's on sort of like tablets and it's kind of breaking the total War formula it's gonna be sort of doing its own thing it's done by a separate team but it seems interesting uh, it's gonna take sort of the concept that you see in tablet games which are done to death but done to death in a really terrible way and C is gonna say okay here's a niche market um, that's paying off pretty well and let's go ahead and let's do it right and so if you haven't seen video footage of that I would go ahead and look it up it actually does look pretty cool they're bringing the graphics and the detail from Total War into that but of course adapting it to the uh, sort of mobile platform style uh, so I actually, I'm actually kinda excited after this Q&A it did seem pretty cool um, Maybe not my cup of tea, but I'll go ahead and try it. They said there's going to be a beta coming out uh, uh, relatively soon. And then what, what's cool here is Pano Masti, the voice actor, was actually shown here. He's the guy who did Attila. I didn't actually know that, um, but really cool. You get to see him suited up, and you get to see, obviously, this is, you know, from the, the launch trailer where Attila is looking at the little um, uh, oil lamp. Uh, it was cool. I, I always love seeing these behind-the-scenes things. Um, so that was definitely appreciated hearing his comments on the game. He also does some cool little They have a little outtake reel at the end of the video where he he says I will watch your toast burn Like it's, it's just like a little goofy thing in keeping with uh, What they do at rally point, but uh, yeah, it was definitely interesting to watch So go ahead and check this out if you want to hear his voice um, and see a little bit of the outtake reels that they have but uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for this rally point. Definitely chock full of information. Like I said, we're going to expect some content. Uh, I think dropping tomorrow is going to be the Tin Isle update. So a patch plus the free units that they're packaging as a free LC. I don't quite buy that as a free LC. It's more of a patch. Um, and then next week, presumably, is when we're going to see the blood and gore. Again, wait for official details on that. Maybe in the comment section below, we'll be able to clarify that. Uh, and again, please, you guys, um, if you could just not take out the DLC hate 
on the individuals. Uh, I mean, for God's sake, look, Craig is plastered with ketchup. Uh, these guys are doing it because they love Total War, because they love what they do. They love the series. Don't take out the DLC frustration on them. See ya.